Have a gander at that, Ronnie boy. Four feet of tungsten steel chrome wrap wrench. A buck ninety-five. Steel, boy, steel. You feel that in your head, steel. You don't get that at Canadian Tire. No, Dad, you don't. But you do get fake money that's good for trips to the third world. Oh, no, my Moroccan brother. The gentleman on this bill is Canada's king. Yeah, he's got a three-foot mustache and wears a tartan crown with a fuzzy ball on top. You take the money, we'll take wife number four. Come on, darling, welcome to the West. Here's a blender. Thank you for making the Dodge Caravan Canada's best-selling minivan. Thank you for choosing the 300M, Motor Trend's 1999 car of the year. Thank you for making Dodge Dakota the number one selling pickup in its class. Thanks for making this one of our best years ever. The Chrysler Dodge Thank You Sale. We pay the GST and take an extra $500 off a select lineup of vehicles. It's just our way of saying... Thanks. Only at your Chrysler Dodge retailer. The 29th Annual Bridal Fair, January 8th and 9th at the Ottawa Congress Centre. Bridal Fair, the one-stop shop for brides-to-be. Featuring 130 exhibitors, fashion shows, and more. You could win a vacation for two, courtesy of Air Canada and Sandals. Or a $10,000 diamond ring from La Maison d'Or. Every bride-to-be receives a free wedding planner. Visit OttawaBridalFair.com for more information. The Bridal Fair, January 8th and 9th at the Ottawa Congress Centre. Shadow Carche is your winter activity headquarters. Until March 31st, 2000, Shadow Carche has snowmobile packages from $177. All-inclusive vacation packages at just $109. And downhill ski packages from just $75. All packages include one-night suite accommodation, access to health club facilities, and of course, all the extras that make any stay at Shadow Carche extra special. Call 1-877-771-9712 and make this winter one to remember at Shadow Carche. This was me last summer. Me again three months ago. And me at Lisa's house. Not one picture with me smiling. I wish my teeth were whiter, but I don't want a bleaching toothpaste. That's why there's Crest Extra Whitening. It not only gives you Crest proven cavity and tartar protection, it works kind of like a dentist paste to help gently polish away stains. There's me four weeks ago. And here I am today. Crest Extra Whitening for whiter, healthy looking teeth. Brilliant new color. Until water hits it, that's when the fade begins. Now there's a brilliant solution. New Color Protector Pre-Wash from Pantene. Spray it on before you shower. It helps seal in your color. It works at the critical point before your color washes out. New Color Protector Pre-Wash from the all-new Pro-V color line. Five brilliant ways to treat your color. Love your color. Love your hair. It's Kids Boxing Week Blowout. Kids pays the GST and PST on everything in stock, even on sale items. Car seats, strollers, toys, mattresses, and furniture. Kids pays the GST and PST. Hurry to the Kids Boxing Week Blowout. It ends this century. It's Mobile Ports. Great liquidation sale. Drive this 2000 Ranger Super Cab 4x4 for only $13.9. Taxes included. Only at Mobile Ford in Gatineau and Mobile Ford in Hull. We were surrounded by malls out in our suburban heaven. Big malls, little malls, mini malls. Malls that were so good at being malls they weren't even called malls. But galleries. <laughs> the name tripped off your tongue like a lazy Pompeii afternoon. <laughs> Tell the Senate they can see me at the Galleria. Mall, air-conditioned consumer cathedrals with aisles as wide as the Nile and with enough choice to choke the pharaohs. <laughs> with parking lots as dangerous as the open African Vale. 
where furtive predators roamed incognito ready to pounce on the unwary, which in the daytime is anybody. <laughs> One night, though, when I was the last to exit the mall late movie, and as I made my way toward my car that was sitting smack dab alone in the middle of empty asphalt, I heard the unmistakable slap slap in a feet coming toward me from out of the blackness and a, hey, you! <gasps> I felt my heart run right out the hole of my willy. could muster from my years of Canadian urban safety training was <laughs> smarten up, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. was only a member of the teeming homeless desperately come to bum some change, holding his life in a gap bag from the Topanga Mall. <laughs> and I knew he never took the family shopping in the GMC Suburban today. Oh, I was pretty sure of that, because I could see them from where I stood. Look at them there, huddled beneath the yellow glow of that street lamp trying to sleep in a shopping cart. I reached into my wallet and quickly pulled out whatever was in there. Here you go, man, take it all. He was very grateful. <laughs> Fit your president with a fuzzy ball in his hat? <laughs> oh, gee, sorry, man. I just kept that in my wallet for good luck. It's like a picture of Frank Mahovlich. I'm sorry. Here, give it back. That's not real Canadian money. It's worthless down here. Like real Canadian money. <laughs> give me that back there. Here, here, here you go. It's a couple bucks American. Boy, you ever get to Canada with that? There's enough in your hand right now to set you up with a Roots franchise and half of Brampton. <laughs> I'll just keep the Canadian tire money, though, hey? Saving up for a whippersnipper. <laughs> As I watched him leave, though, I knew there were so many like him down there collecting dust at the end of that rainbow, come from all points of the compass, now just a casualty of paradise, that I could have stood in that parking lot forever handing it out, and never had enough to make him forget even one night sleeping in a shopping cart. See, I moved down to do a television show. Yeah, moved down to do a television show that after I started working on, realized was owned and operated by legions of the damned. <laughs> Servile, sallow-faced executives roamed the hallways prior to every show, pouring over last night's point ratio, demographic, Mayan hieroglyphic, out of the name of geez, we doing Lapland last night. <laughs> they wore their sweaters knotted around their necks like dime store Gatsby's and called everybody family. Great, so did Matson once. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't do very well, because after six months of shooting, we were canceled. <laughs> and when the dust finally cleared, I found I hadn't made the kind of money you'd associate with American TV. In fact, I hadn't made the kind of money you'd associate with a manager of a mini pot. <laughs> and I'd leased a few things. Hmm? <laughs> Why not, though? Hey, I had a faith in the future. And if you don't believe you're gonna have more tomorrow than you have today, then what in the name of Jesus were you doing in Southern California in the first place? It wasn't caution that built these endless freeways and turned the desert green. So invest in the dream and lease, baby, lease. So I did. Got me a car, a Toyota Corolla, <laughs> four cylinder. <laughs> Nothing but the finest Hollywood sedan for me and mine. I needed it, though. How else was I going to pick up the milk at the corner store? Geez, nobody walks in L.A. A neighborhood stroll now was as history as a pale complexion. 
leased a townhouse in a 512-unit community called the Summit. It had amenities I'd never get for this money in Toronto, like gates at the front. Hey. That worked on a state-of-the-art, sound-sensitive security system. And they'd open. <laughs> All the streets in the compound, too, were named after exotic flowers or something. I don't know. We lived at 6146 Coral Pink Circle. <laughs> Where do you live? Coral Pink Circle. Coral Pink Circle, huh? Sounds like something you'd catch swimming in a public pool. <laughs> You're going to be needing some salve for that, son. <laughs> the entire place was an intersection for those in transit to the better life. Gangbangers and souped-up lowriders purred around the corner like metal carnivores. There were retirees from Boston, divorcees from everywhere, and mums and dads and kids. And standoffish Christians from Sarnia and gregarious porn stars from Illinois. <laughs> and, and all kinds of winners and losers and people who tan too much and talk too loud. At poolside, all getting psyched for their 15 minutes, eh? while all of us were oblivious to the battalions of uniformed illegals who silently manicured the grounds of El Norte in anticipation for the day that it would be all theirs again. We had a patio, bought some patio furniture. Aye, we were putting down roots. Wouldn't expect me to live in Thunder Bay without a snowblower, would you? <laughs> Besides, with the eight months of sun-punished summer, Geez, we barbecued like village simpletons let loose in the king's pantry. <laughs> barbecue, barbecue, bar The king's away, get the steaks! <laughs> That's what a college education will get you, eh? <laughs> so hot we never even had to turn the barbecue on. Just drop the steaks in the friggin' patio. And hot, mother of God, it was hot, eh? Had a heat wave there, it was 106 degrees for three weeks running. Ah, holy hell, eh? I had Newfoundland relatives calling me up on the telephone. Oh, Ronald, I see you're having lovely weather down there in Los Angeles, my son. Lovely weather. What is 108 degrees, Uncle Henry? Oh, yes, but it's a dry heat, my son, it's a dry heat. Well, so's the oven. You don't see me sticking my head in there. You can ring in the new year. Or you can ching in the new year. Get $2,000 cash back when you purchase any 2000 Ford Windstar, Explorer, or F-150. Or lease any 2000 Taurus Windstar Explorer F-150 and your first month's payment is on us and we'll waive the security deposit. Or get 0% purchase financing on selected new in-stock 99s. Now that's the sound of a happy new year. Hurry offers available for a limited time at your Ottawa Quality Plus 4 dealers. Out of bed early, roll into Subway for breakfast. Made fresh the way you like it. With delicious sandwiches including ham, egg and cheese, bacon, egg and cheese, and even a Western-style sandwich. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. Tommy LaFave's Boxing Days are here. All sportswear by Columbia, Tommy Hilfiger, and Orage up to 50% off. Shirts, pants, sweaters, jeans, and even coats. Hurry in today. Tommy and LaFave's Boxing Days. Do not miss them. The Linen Chest's famous store-wide sale is now on. The most breathtaking selection of bed and bath, mattresses, housewares, china, crystal, and giftware. Unparalleled service from the most knowledgeable salespeople. The guaranteed lowest prices in town. Linen Chest at the Pinecrest Shopping Center. Nobody beats our prices. Compare and be convinced. Surround yourself in comfort at the Kempville Home Furniture Store. Come see our new winter lineup of leather and fabric sofas, dining rooms, bedroom sets, appliances. 
electronics, and more. The Kempville Home Furniture Store. Open Monday to Saturday for your shopping convenience. It's everything you need for your home. The Boxing Week sale is on now at the Kempville Home Furniture Store, Highway 43 in Kempville, the home of great interiors. It's that special time of year. Today's Colonial Furniture's Boxing Day blowout only once a year. Beat the PST and the GST on all home furnishings. Beat the GST on all appliances and electronics. Or don't pay until December 2000 total store. Today's Colonial Furniture Boxing Day blowout is your chance to save. Total store, all appliances, all electronics, all home furnishings for a limited time. At today's Colonial Furniture during their Boxing Day blowout. You can ring in the new year. Or you can ching in the new year. Get $2,000 cash back when you purchase any 2000 Ford Windstar Explorer or F-150. Or lease any 2000 Taurus Windstar Explorer F-150 and your first month's payment is on us and we'll waive the security deposit. Or get 0% purchase financing on selected new in-stock 99s. Now that's the sound of a happy new year. Hurry offers available for a limited time at your Ottawa Quality Plus Ford dealers. I made a commitment to stay. I couldn't renege on these leasing contracts with people. I'd never be allowed into America again. U.S. diplomats have put my picture up on a not want it wall by Castro and Farley Mowat. <laughs> Besides, my immigration visa papers were good for two more years. And after all, I was a tenant in the promised land where opportunity comes to those who wait. So if I stay just one more day, things could turn around. Eh? Hang in there one more day. One more day. That phrase was as American as the Donner Party. <laughs> you remember them, eh? That family of pilgrims on the Oregon Trail that took a left instead of a right and developed a peculiar appetite? <laughs> if we move the wagon train round the next bend, we'll do it. Sure, things look bleak. We're stuck in the salt flats now when we ate our relatives yesterday. <laughs> but look, there's the break in the mountains. And if we hang on just one more day, I'll be eating cake instead of Reg in California. A. <laughs> the hell with it, I'm staying. I'm staying. There's the clarion call of America, that, eh? I'd heard her tune before, too. Way back in the summer of 69 when I was camping with my folks. Camping way at the eastern tip of the country. On Cape Breton Island where her pretty green highlands fall to the sea. Dad was driving a big Plymouth Fury II Detroit gas guzzling land boat. <laughs> oh man, every time he filled it up, Saudi Arabia dropped two feet. <laughs> oh, a huge engine bonnet on it. You want to check the tires in that thing, you had to pack a lunch. <laughs> Safest car on a highway, I hit a moose and this, the kids don't wake up in the back seat. <laughs> And on the hitch swayed an Eaton's True Line tent trailer. He won in a crib tournament at the Legion. It was blue, had two poles missing, and leaned to the left. Every time we set it up, it looked like a Picasso sketch. <laughs> Americans pulled into the campground in a 40-foot stainless steel, hermetically sealed Airstream living unit. <laughs> Jumping German Jesus, it's the Jetsons. Americans were here from the land of cool stuff. <laughs> from the place where a kid could order a two-man submarine from the back of a DC comic book. Oh, yeah. Good for up to under 16 feet of water, 695. <laughs> Think the mortality rate went up at Lakeside the first summer day came out? <laughs> oh, yeah, but there it was, right there in the DC comic book. In the old Sergeant Rock, so it must be true. Oh, many a night with my head in the pillow in February rattling those window panes, I wished I was an American. I wished and wished, because stamped all over that ad in bold red letters, order void in Canada. <laughs> this country bites. Only thing I could get here in the winter was the moose cleaning kit. <laughs> Kill them, clean them, strip them, and dip them. Fun for the whole family. Make mom that moose liver first. She's always wanted. 
Oh, Ron, it's nice and soft. Mm -hmm, it's nice. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> nice and soft, just like the top of your head when you were little. <laughs> Thanks, Ma, but I kind of wanted a two-man sub. In America, toys never had fur on them. In America, you could get what you want. Better yet, in America, you could get what you deserve. If not today, then tomorrow. That's why six months after a Doom show's cancellation and two and a half years longer than that, I was still there. Living in Los Angeles in the latter days of the 20th century. Earthquakes, floods, fires, riots. It's like living in the Old Testament. Lord, geez, any minute swarms of friggin' locusts would be nibbling on it. For $25, call Fred Astaire Dance Studios, 567-3237. I remember missing out on a fantastic show just because I was late for my ride. They left without me. This happened two years ago, and I still think about it. This year, I'm not going to miss out. I'll be taking the bus. On December 31st, I'll be watching Harmony 2000, a super high-tech show at the Casino de Hall. It's outside, it's out of this world. And guess what? It's free. Beat the cold and make a splash this winter with Divers Warehouse Super Vacation Snorkeling Event. Get wet with complete snorkeling packages from just $69.99. A great winter vacation activity for the whole family. Snorkeling packages make great Christmas gifts. Divers Warehouse, your one stop for all types of snorkeling packages, diving gear, and accessories. Call the experts at 723-3055. Divers Warehouse, 210 Colonnade Road, Nepean. That's it. Attention, Ottawa. It's the final sale of the century at Marcel Velage, the biggest sales event ever. It's your last chance to win a new 2000 Sunfire or $20,000 in cash. Financing from 1.9% on a sensational selection of new vehicles. Plus, no down payments, no payments, no interest for 90 days. And quality used vehicles from $99 down and $59 a week. But hurry, because the final sale of the century is going to end soon at Marcel Belanger Pontiac Buick GMC, Uville Drive, Orleans. It's Kids Boxing Week Blowout. Kids face the GST and PST on everything in stock, even on sale items. Car seats, strollers, toys, mattresses, and furniture. Kids face the GST and PST. Hurry to the Kids Boxing Week Blowout. It ends this century. It's Boxing Week at Motionware and Source for Sports. For over 15 years, the home of great prices, superb quality, and expert service. Come into Motionware during Boxing Week and take advantage of terrific savings. All Columbia jackets and pants now 30% off. Ellie Hansen ski jackets and pants 25% off. All remaining junior ski wear 30 to 50% off. All squash rackets on sale too. Motion wear source for sports with three great locations. Hazel Dean Mall, Carlingwood, and John Street North in Arntrier. It's Kids Boxing Week Blowout. Kids face the GST and PST on everything in stock, even on sale items. Car seats, strollers, toys, mattresses, and furniture. Kids face the GST and PST. Hurry to the Kids Boxing Week Blowout. It ends this century. On March 12th, 1991, it finally started to rain. After six years of crusty, ignorant growth, the warm air of El Nino, mustering in the Pacific like a pack of rabbit curs, tore into the Los Angeles basin, dropping 14.3 inches of water on the Southland in one day. I was stuck in traffic on the Ventura Freeway, <laughs> moving up the road with all the grace and speed of a piece of undigested pork through the colon.
Usually took me 45 minutes to make the run from downtown to home. I'd been stuck in this unholy stretch of real estate for the last three and a half hours. Not including a half hour when I stopped for lunch and had the bag of chips and two beers. <laughs> Those two beers that were currently pounding in my bladder like the mighty hammer of Thor. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Why didn't somebody warn me about this before I moved here? Why wasn't there a wrinkled old sage at the crossroads wagging a hockey stick with a rabbit's head nailed to it at me? And beware, Jedi. There is a price to pay for paradise. Mm. Well, don't be telling me about the price of living in paradise. I was raised in the Maritimes. Got snowed in school once for two weeks. No food. Had to eat the kids in the slow learning class. This day I can't touch a Timbit. <laughs> then you will do what must be done. <laughs> I'll be doing what must be done, all right. I'll be going on the friggin' seat, eh? Oh man, if I grind my molars anymore, my teeth will explode and crumble. I'll spit them out of my head like those dreams where I suddenly find myself toothless old and nude at the lost and found booth. <laughs> hey, I'm just wandering around a department store. Help, I'm lost, I'm lost. Help, and I'm bare naked. Ah! My nuts are cold, my nuts are cold. Ah! <laughs> Waves of water are crashing against the grill of my car. I can't get out for a leak, I'll be swept to my doom. You see the front page of the LA Times. Man swept the sea holding his own in the highway. Turn on the radio and take my mind off this torture. Well, they're out there having fun. They're having terrible sun. Sun? <laughs> California sun? What kind of ignorant LA DJ joke is that, son? They're singing about sun, and I'm surrounded by biblical waters that'll give poor old Noah a boner. <laughs> Look, the animals are starting to pair up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, uh, that's it. I'm going on the seat. I can't do that. This car's leased. <laughs> it's gonna look pretty credible when buyback time rolls around. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but leasing company's gonna frown on lingering stale loaders of wisdom the driver's seat. <laughs> I changed the channel, and this is what I heard. The Sepulveda Dam has burst its banks. Oh, bonus, hand me a loaded gun, why don't you? <laughs> Burbank Boulevard is trapped under 14 feet of water. There's people stuck in their cars down there. Suddenly, 100 feet overhead, the dull thwack, thwack, thwack of helicopter blades cut through the hammering rain. They jostle in their aerial video scrum for footage of the rescue effort. Buddy in the half-ton pickup in front of me has got his militia trim noggin out the window screaming at him. Incoming, man! Incoming! <laughs> Incoming man, hot LZ mofo, incoming. I have no reason to doubt his reference. Because his bumper sticker reads, you can have my gun when you pry it from my cold dead fingers. Uh, my bumper sticker reads, stop clear cuts. Yeah, you stop your clear cutting. Stop. All right, I'm telling. <laughs> There's a difference between Canada and the U.S. right there, hey? He wants to pump the latest state-of-the-art ground-to-air missile into the belly of that Channel 4 Huey. <laughs> and me, I want to save a tree and then take a leak on it. And 
And it's all because I had those two beers at lunch. <laughs> Celebrating a job I didn't even have yet. Broken the cardinal rule of the acting profession. Don't believe you've got the job till you're on the set scarfing donuts with the stars. <laughs> but I was so close, eh? I had four callbacks for a part in a Warner Brothers picture. Small part. Guy with Geiger counter. <laughs> Call me back four times for Guy with Geiger counter, hey? It's not like the movie hinged on Guy with Geiger counter. Geez, if it had been the Ten Commandments, I would have been Guy with Ox. <laughs> a guy who sort of knows Moses a little bit. When are you gonna go see tonight? Oh, guy with Geiger counter. Oh, yeah, what's it about? Oh, you know, guy wants Geiger counter, guy gets Geiger counter, guy loses Geiger counter, guy finds Geiger counter. Same old Geiger counter genre thing. Here's all I had to say. You're late. All the uranium's gone. About 40 miles that way. Heard my about. Been practicing my American. Sure, I didn't want to be a bad taste in the melting pot. I've been out about the house. <laughs> Except on the weekend when I lapsed into the accent of my homeland. Usually because I was at the liquor barn first thing Saturday morning. <laughs> One day I was at this local nursery buying some plants and I said to the salesman, oh, these flowers are gonna look some friggin' nice on the patio, eh? <laughs> Where's that accent from? <laughs> well, I'm Canadian, sir. Oh, no, it's further away than that. <laughs> I'm from Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia? You must find it unusual all the light you get down here. light you get. You're in total darkness up there for 11 months of the year. <laughs> unusual all the light you get. Not as unusual as all the light I see whistling through your skull. <laughs> I don't know. Should have showed him pictures of chucking the old ones on the ice floes, eh? Oh, no, look, it's the annual fall culling of the old and lame. <laughs> yeah, they prohibit the village from actualizing its fullest potential. <laughs> then we won't get a galleria. <laughs> so it's on the ice with you, you wrinkle old buggers. Get going now. Go, <laughs> oh, get going, come here. Come on, quit whining, form a line. He says, you knew the culling was coming up, eh? We talked about it all summer, the culling's coming up. Eh, you talk too loud in the movie theaters anyway. Off with you there now, come on. Come on, get going. Jeez, they're still fighting. Here, give me a seal. There you go. Oh, come on, that doesn't hurt. It's one of the little white fluffy ones. Go deep. It'll tide you over till you get to England now. <laughs> and the mighty wheel turns. You see, I wanted the part of Guy with Geiger counter because the film was starring none other than Mr. Bobby De Niro. I... And after four callbacks, you're not thinking about the part. You're not even thinking about the money. You're thinking about being on the set scarfing donuts with De Niro. <laughs> huh?
Hey, Bobby, you want a donut? <laughs> you, you're talking to me, you. You, you're talking to me. You, guy with Geiger counter, you're talking to me, huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Bobby. I must be talking to you. You're the only Bobby here, ain't you? Huh? Now let me ask you, you miserable prick. <laughs> you want a donut or not, huh? Do you or do you not not want a donut, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding you. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom in my bed. <laughs> Jesus. At the times like this, you wish you could talk to God, eh? He's probably dozed off again, no? Jeez, if he can miss a million Bosnian atrocities, there's not a snowball's chance in hell he'll see a lap dangling and ruin his drawers in the driver's seat. <laughs> That's just a joke, though, eh? Ah. Uh. What's that in the back window? What's that in the back of the... What? Oh, a diaper. <laughs> a diaper. The headlights of oncoming cars had illuminated it on the back window. Left over from our last family road trip with her two-year-old. Oh... Like St. Paul on the road to Damascus. <laughs> there shone the bright and gleaming grail of my salvation. A diaper. And a pamper at that. <laughs> With state-of-the-art absorbency. <laughs> so this is what the California dreams come down to, is it? Stuffing a diaper down your drawers in the driver's seat. Nothing like that strapped to the chair in the hallway of the mental home relief. <laughs> when I pulled into the driveway, my wife was waiting. <laughs> Did you get wet, she asked. <laughs> I lifted what felt like 47 pounds of dead beaver off my lap. Not a drop of water on me. God bless America. Being a volunteer fireman is tough enough. With a cold, <laughs> it's tougher. Hey, hey. What's up with you, Sparky? Oh, no, I don't feel so hot. To help extinguish headache, Sore throat and fever. Try non drowsy Dayquil. <coughs> what are you going to do? Cough out the fire? Here. <laughs> That's good stuff. Thanks, Chief. Like the multi symptom relief of Nyquil? Try non drowsy Dayquil. Ready? Dayquil, the non drowsy congestant, stuffy head, sore throat, coughing, aching fever, so you can get on with your day medicine. Wait, not yet. Future Shop is pushing the button on the year's biggest sale. Okay, now. Fast forward to Future Shop Boxing Day sale. It's the final days. Get incredible savings on thousands of items. Okay, pause. Get a free 15-inch monitor with any close-out computer. Or a Mitsubishi Hi-Fi VCR for just $1.99. Apex DVD players are now just $2.99. And a Canon color printer just $79. So fast forward to Future Shop. You'll like what the future has in store for Boxing Day. 
The 29th Annual Bridal Fair, January 8th and 9th at the Ottawa Congress Center. Bridal Fair, the one-stop shop for brides-to-be. Featuring 130 exhibitors, fashion shows, and more. You could win a vacation for two, courtesy of Air Canada and Sandals. Or a $10,000 diamond ring from the Maison d'Or. Every bride-to-be receives a free wedding planner. Visit OttawaBridalFair.com for more information. The Bridal Fair, January 8th and 9th at the Ottawa Congress Centre. You can ring in the new year. Or you can cha-ching in the new year. Get $2,000 cash back when you purchase any 2000 Ford Windstar Explorer or F-150. Or lease any 2000 Taurus Windstar Explorer F-150 and your first month's payment is on us and we'll waive the security deposit. Or get 0% purchase financing on selected new in stock 99s. Now that's the sound of a happy new year. Hurry, offers available for a limited time at your Ottawa Quality Plus Ford dealers. Shadow Carchet is your winter activity headquarters. Until March 31st, 2000, Shadow Carchet has snowmobile packages from $177. All-inclusive vacation packages at just $109. And downhill ski packages from just $75. All packages include one-night suite accommodation, access to health club facilities, and, of course, all the extras that make any stay at Shadow Carchet extra special. Call 1-877-771-9712 and make this winter one to remember at Shadow Carchet. Andy, dinner's ready. All your favorite toys come to life right before your very eyes. Only at Walt Disney's World on Ice Toy Story. Thanks to everyone who entered the CJOH News at Noon contest for VIP seats to the spectacular Millennium event, Harmony 2000. And the show is, is basically uh, a, a kind of evocation, really pointed, really dreamlike. If you didn't win, you can still be part of the celebration of the century. Harmony 2000 at the Casino de Hull is free on December 31st. Don't miss this multimedia extravaganza. You know, this, uh, this hang on one more day plan was starting to get in my wick. I've been out of work for ten months. Yes. For days on end, I never left the house. Felt like I was in the witness protection program waiting for my new chin to arrive. <laughs> that was my wife's worst nightmare. I was actor at home. <laughs> Lord Jesus, there's a sitcom for you now, eh? Straight from the bowels of hell. Honey, I'm still home. <laughs> Speaking from the diaphragm. And I was wondering... Have there been any phone calls for me? <laughs> While I was out for ten minutes at the newsstand reading the obituaries in Variety. <laughs> Did anyone phone for me? No? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Time for a career change, then. That's it, yes. I'll become a forest ranger. <laughs> I've got the credentials. I can project. I guess, please keep to the path to the left. <laughs> Would any of you campers care to hear a monologue from Cymbeline? <laughs> no? Let me wax nostalgic about my 45 seconds of the Julie Andrews show. <laughs> Why is everyone leaving? Thank you very much. But just when you started thinking, hey, maybe the best way to fill my day is to drop by the mall and take a few hostages. <laughs> it gets busy again. Oh, bonus. The phone's ringing for me. Sure, I can meet at downtown Los Angeles at Friday afternoon at 5.30 for an audition. Oh, traffic? Oh, geez, I live for traffic. Live for it. Yeah, I put on that new age music channel for relaxation. Oh, yes. Oh, geez, man, a flute on that? Christ, you hear more pan flute on that channel than a Saturday night in Zamfir's rec room. <laughs> oh, I almost passed out delivering that line.
Yes, the trick to acting. Breathe. Uh, yes, I almost pinched a loaf delivering that line, actually. Yes. Oh, the New Age Music Channel, hey? What a way to go through your day. Totally relaxed by the time you get into the audition, had a past life regression, poke Cleopatra, and feel fully rested. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's busy again, though, hey? The dark veil that had laid long in the land has lifted. Flip the skins off the door to the igloo, honey. Because the smell of caribou's in the air. Bringing the promise of meat for the kettle and fuel for the heart. Because when you get right down to it, art is food. Sure, pilot season had begun. The time of year when the networks would be casting and shooting all their new television shows. Down there in L.A., first they shoot the pilot, then they shoot the series. Unlike the Middle East, where first they shoot the pilot, then they blow up the plane. <laughs> Whoa. Actors were geared up and salivating for this time of year like retrievers in a duck blind. Did you get a pilot? Did you get a pilot? Did you get a... Woo, 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 woo. Did you get a pilot? Geez, they sound like prospective British war brides at the airstrips in 42. <laughs> Did you get the pilot? Did you get the pilot? <laughs> no, I got a tail gunner and a bun in the oven. I'm moving to Hamilton. Can you blame the actors? Everybody wanted to land that series, land that show. The one the North American public had watched with such religious zeal, they'd forget to bury their dead. Right? <laughs> now, if getting a series was the food of the gods, then landing commercials was the bread and butter of the proletariat. No harm in that, eh? When those monthly bills came howling around the mail slot like wolves over crippled swine. Jesus, you count your lucky stars if you happen to be hopping over the television set sporting a banana suit for Chiquita. <laughs> Art is food. <laughs> First commercial I got down there saved us a Christmas of purgatorial gloom. You remember those years when you've been so broke you had to scour the house for suitable Christmas gifts? <laughs> oh, Mom, so you like the potholders then? No, that's the way they make them in California, covered in crusty food with burn marks on them. <laughs> Commercials, what an adventure, man. There was one casting house down there, huh? It had a huge and cavernous waiting room with 11 different doors running off it. They could cast 11 different commercials at once. Geez, every type in the world showed up there waggling their 8 by 10 glossies. I like newly arrived immigrants neath the shadow of liberty. It was the Ellis Island of casting. Oh, yeah, steroid-stoked bodybuilders with no necks and pinheads stood around talking shop. It looks like they got caught in a curling machine, hey? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey. Hey, look, there's flies on my back. How you doing? Hey, hey, I squatted a thousand pounds at lunch and I think I shit my spleen. <laughs> a gaggle of mimes were over in the corner. Mimes amongst their own and walking against the wind for all they were worth, eh? <laughs> They hadn't had this much fun since the wedding reception for Shields and Yarnell. <laughs> Most beautiful women in the world sauntered the floor. Oh, uber women, built to last a thousand years. One thrust of their hips could have altered the course of the Rhine. <laughs> Get to stand close to their ear, you could hear the cold wind of the tundra blowing. <laughs> and there we were, the suburban types and cardigans. Knowing that if they don't land this puppy, it's back to the bottle. What? <laughs> the smallest man in the world sat across from me on his manager's knee. From the recesses of dreams he came. Oh, yeah, the smallest man bar none. He could have lived comfortably in an empty quart bottle. <laughs> and he wore a top hat and a cape, eh? 
and was gibbering at me in some helium-driven elfin tongue. Hey, didn't you do a couple of days on that movie Willow With Me back in 84? <laughs> on Willow With Me. Oh, but gee sake, I wasn't in the movie Willow. It had little people in it. I'm too tall to be in Willow. I'm five foot four, and I'm way taller than you, too. Hey, don't get testy with me. You're only seven inches away from being a circus act yourself. <laughs> I know where it was. It was in Arizona doing that Ford commercial. The dream sequence bit. Oh, I tell you, the dream sequence stuff does not work unless they have us in it. That's where I make the big bucks, baby. Dream sequence, dream sequence. <laughs> yes. Any minute I expected Fellini to yell, Cut, that's enough. You were all fantastical. <laughs> Cue the midget nun. Don't be scared of a little bug. The Donnellys are Y2K competitive. There are three days left in the millennium to take advantage of terrific prices, factory incentives, and a whole lot more. At Tom Donnelly's Sunrise Pontiac Buick, Hunt Club Ford Lincoln, Donnelly Ford, and Donnelly Ford Vernon. This is absolutely the boxing event of all boxing events. The most important days of the millennium. And you can always hope the Y2K bug will eat your car loan. Tommy and LaFave's Boxing Days are here. Hurry in for Ottawa's best ski selection, all on sale. Ski, boots, binding, snowboards, and ski wear. Save hundreds at Tommy and LaFave's Boxing Days. Tommy and LaFave, personal service, always the best price, guaranteed. Out of bed early, roll into Subway for breakfast. Made fresh the way you like it, with delicious sandwiches, including ham, egg, and cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese, and even a Western-style sandwich. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. It's that special time of year. Today's Colonial Furniture's Boxing Day blowout only once a year. Beat the PST and the GST on all home furnishings. Beat the GST on all appliances and electronics. Or don't pay until December 2000 total store. Save big on Panasonic. This VCR is only $329. This TV is only $549. This mini system is $299. And this DVD player is only $399. At today's Colonial Furniture during their Boxing Day blowout. This New Year's Eve, you're invited to Parliament Hill to count down the remaining moments of the millennium. In Motion, a story of time is a free, once-in-a-lifetime celebration sure to move the spirit. As the Peace Tower clock chimes midnight, spectacular fireworks will fill the sky and welcome the arrival of the year 2000. In Motion, a story of time. One special night that your friends and family will not want to miss. For over 25 years, M&T Glass has offered 24-hour emergency repairs so that you can rest easy. But M&T Glass also carries a selection of window, screen, and patio door hardware, and cuts mirror, glass, and plexi while you wait. M&T Glass has the largest selection of mirrors in Ottawa and supplies and installs custom shower enclosures. At M&T Glass, we don't rest unless you can. Open Saturdays, 10 till 4. You can ring in the new year. Or you can cha-ching in the new year. Get $2,000 cash back when you purchase any 2000 Ford Windstar Explorer or F-150. Or lease any 2000 Taurus Windstar Explorer F-150 and your first month's payment is on us and we'll waive the security deposit. Or get 0% purchase financing on selected new in-stock 99s. Now that's the sound of a happy new year. Hurry offers available for a limited time at your Ottawa Quality Plus Ford dealers. On behalf of our sponsors, the people at CJOH TV would like to wish you and your loved ones a very happy holiday and all the best as we enter a new year, new century, and a new millennium together. We would also like to thank the many volunteers who accomplish so much in our communities throughout the year and help make this such a great place to live. Season's greetings to everyone from the people at CJOH TV. By April 92, though, folks, the gods have been kind. Must have been that lamb we slaughtered on the patio to Apollo. <laughs> uh, I'd landed a few gigs that kept the wolves at bay. 
So we did what any exiles from a northern clime would do in a southern one with a few extra beans in their pocket. We went camping in the desert. I wanted to see those places I'd watched as a kid on those Walt Disney nature specials. The wonderful world of color. I remember those. Of course, in Los Angeles, my daughter could watch the Disney Channel 24 hours a day of Disney. Hi. <laughs> Living room feels like a small world after all when that's going on. As I tell you, organized religion's got nothing on that Disney cult. You want your kids to believe in Jesus? Slop a set of mouse ears on the Savior's head. Jeez, you can't fight the mouse, so, eh? I know. I like those specials, though. We used to go down to my grandmother's place and watch it on her color TV. Still remember them. The Living Desert. That crazy old cougar better watch it or he'll be getting himself in a bind. <laughs> Given a quality on my grandmother's color TV, I'd say he's bound pretty tight, Walt. He's blue. <laughs> he's my grandmother. God bless her wherever she's bound. Yeah, we used to go down to her house for those obligatory Sunday supper visits. She was from Newfoundland. Used a bit of salt in her food. <laughs> Didn't believe you were full unless you had a stroke. <laughs> Here, my son, have some more butter on them pork chops. <laughs> Don't be shy now, boy. Don't be showing more here. Take that uh, salt caught on pork scraps and dip it into the cream and gravy. <laughs> Get that nice, healthy purple glow on your face like your cousin Merle. <laughs> oh, cousin Merle, buddy with the big vein popping out of his forehead. <laughs> Jesus, looks like he's growing a big blue kindling. <laughs> and her brother'd be there too, Uncle Henry. I lived through the Great Depression in Newfoundland which has been for the last 400 years or so. <laughs> His motto, waste not, want not. What are you doing throwing them potato skins away for, my son? <laughs> With a little shellac, they make a lovely pair of slippers. Jeez, look at the color on that TV. That blue cougar looks like Cousin Merle. Fix it. <laughs> no blue cougars here, though. This was the real thing where I found myself. Joshua Tree National Monument. Yeah, it's about four hours north in the high desert outside of Los Angeles. Oh, hey, really something, too. We were there during the spring wildflower bloom. And everything was blooming. Hey, even giant cactuses were in bloom. Real giant ones. Not the little kind you'd buy in a hospital gift shop for a bedridden aunt. <laughs> Here, I know you're dying. <laughs> so I brought you a cactus. <laughs> oh! Oh, yes, thanks for the thought, Ronald. Rub it on your arse. Uh, this is a real McCoy here, though, this desert country I'd found myself in. It was eaten before the fall. Red-tailed hawks rode in high circles on the Sonoran thermals. And at night, under a sliver of Easter moon, coyotes lullabied us to sleep, their yodeling voices echoing down canyon cliffs. And during the heat of noon, we took bologna sandwich refuge in hidden canyons. <laughs> where turquoise waterfalls rolled over ochre boulders creating strips of green oasis. And when evening spread a humdinger of a sunset across that sky, bathing the sandstone boulders in Kodachrome hues, I stood transfixed with wonder, just a marvel. Boy, that Southern California sure is beautiful, eh? Doesn't get any better than this. And it didn't. <laughs> I 
On April 22nd, 1992, when spring was all around, and that sky, the sky so crystal clear blue, it was singing. You could see past the snow-capped San Bernardino Mountains all the way to heaven's driveway. When you really didn't care what the hell was going on in the rest of the world because your little corner of it was paradise. The city of angels went ballistic, exploding in the worst racial rioting of a generation. I'd gone to work in Albuquerque to shoot a Tetley Tea commercial that never got on the air. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Hope it doesn't happen with this, though. <laughs> Yeah, we were sitting around Conrad Hilton's mahogany bar in his first hotel. Oh, it was something, hey? All old Southwest charm, sitting right there on Route 66, Steinbeck's mother road, the very artery that had carried so many Dust Bowl refugees from Oklahoma to the fertile dream of sunny Southern California. Uh, we were watching an intersection called Florence and Normandy combust for the world on TV. And we charted its course on CNN with its little cartoon maps and cartoon fires. CNN, I and the apocalypse. <laughs> Boy, you gotta take your hat off to that news channel, hey? There's an outfit that's on top of the story. Geez, I'm sure when the beast with three sixes rises from the abyss, they'll have him on Larry King the first friggin' night. <laughs> so, Antichrist, what are your plans? <laughs> We'll be breaking for commercial while we look for the cameraman's head. <laughs> and there was something down there to see that, hey? Huh? And when we tried to get out of Albuquerque to fly into Los Angeles, we couldn't because LAX was closed down. Incoming flights had been taken ground fire. Don't get that at Pearson. <laughs> And when I finally made my way home to Woodland Hills, the only sign I saw of the riots was the one pinned to the Vaughn supermarket grocery store window. <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances elsewhere, we'll be closing early. You see, we lived in stuccoed ambivalence. And the body count we watched mount each weekend on the local news might as well have been coming from the dark streets of Beirut. Riots changed all that, though, because one month after they were finished, Every gun shop in 60 square miles of Los Angeles was sold out of everything with a trigger. Ah, uh, that's the one thing about America, hey? They like their packing. <laughs> it's the pernicious equalizer there, the weapon. Mm? Geez, you could be sitting with some of the finest minds at Harvard, engaged in idle dinner banter, as was the case with me most weekends. <laughs> You're laughing with me, though, eh? <laughs> Weren't those glazed carrots fabulous? <laughs> Muffy's gone to do relief work in the Belgian Congo. <laughs> eh? But as soon as the topic turns to guns, Lord Jesus, they become a southern Alabama sheriff on you. <laughs> you won't get yourself a gun, boy. You don't get yourself a gun, boy. Easy on you, you goo. <laughs> Feel as comfortable in your hand as your dick. <laughs> get yourself a gun, boy. Protect yourself with some drive-by shootings. I said, hey, man, I'm from Canada. We don't have any drive-by shootings there. Closest we have to that is drive-by yellings. <laughs> Wearing white pants after Labor Day. Oh! I'm not anti-weapon, though. No, I used to go hunting with my dad as a kid. I had to stop, though. I got bored. We'd be in the woods for 12 hours and never move more than three feet. <laughs>